Hey there, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to just talk about um, what is a good time to take your prints off the 3D printer. Um, some of us like to wait like myself and others like to take it off as soon as possible. Now, with some caveats to it. Uh, if you wait, your, your stuff will just flick right off the board. You can just blow it off or flick it off. Whereas if you got to have it right now, um, there's a chance that you could ruin it. It's still hot. And sometimes something like this will happen where you will, um, you could actually bend it because remember it's hot when it's hot, it's uh, flexible. Um, so you could ruin it. Um, or like I just did broke it, but this is PLA. PLA is, doesn't have that flexibility. So when you, um, when you try to move it off, when it's still hot and fresh, you're going to have that because now it's molded to that particular part. Whereas the original is supposed to be, um, flat. See, um, so you run the risk of not, but not bending it to the extreme like this, but just sort of bending it a little bit where it's somewhat dis disformed, um, if that makes any sense. But again, there's no right, there's no wrong because some of the pros can just flick it, you know, bend the, uh, take the, uh, board off the bill plate off and, and, and then are happy that way. Whereas for me, I'll just wait and I'll show you guys come. So as you can see, here's it's ready. We'll just print it. And. What I like to do is I, oh well, I like to just see everything just moves right off. So you just have to be careful. And if you wait, everything will just come simply right off the board without any problem. Uh, and all you have to, the only one, the only thing you have to do is just peel that seat. And, um, of course I have a garbage can open and that will, of course, parts will flake seats. Like I was saying, parts will just flick right off the board. All you have to do is wait. Some folks like to take this off. As you can see, I've never take, taken it off. And some of my beginning videos, um, you might see where I've actually scraped it off the board. Um, you know, but I learned, kind of learned a lesson one day. I just left it overnight. When I came back the next morning, everything just came off the board. I said, oh my God, that's really nice. And actually what it does is if you weigh, right, your board will actually look beautiful from day one until the end, until you actually decide to sell it or whatever, upgrade it, uh, you know, whatever rocks your boat. But in that note, remember, be food dust. Wait. And what we could do is we can compare in real time, right? Uh, should we wait or should we not wait? Uh, what did I, you know, what a print job, how hard it is to take a print job off the board after it's finished printing if we don't wait. Let's check it out. I'm just going to go to my phone, um, go to an STL file, right? And of course, and print the fish eye. We could actually, can actually, um, do what I just did remotely. Once you have that camera, it's the Beagle camera, or it's, you can actually do it from your computer. Um, and see what we have here. Hold on a second. Which is nice. It's a, it's, a, it's really convenient to be able to do this from, uh, your machine. I, I've never, um, I haven't gone back to using the SD card slot ever since I've been doing it this way, which I'm really glad I didn't buy the bigger touchscreen, um, whatever it's called, because I wouldn't use it ever. Um, so in that sense, so yeah, so you have here, as you can see, um, but we go here, new window. Beagle print, uh, we can look there and see the printer on our screen and we'll check out the fish. We'll see, um, you know, maybe the fish will, will be easy to take off the board or maybe it won't, uh, but you be the judge because we will test it in real time. If that makes any sense, uh, we can if it lets us. So here we are. We have our computer here. I'll just move this guy over. Um, I mean, we're just going to print the fish should have them in a second or two. Again, this is a really nice feature to have on your prints and being able to print remotely, not having to put the SD card in, put it out. You know, I went through a lot of trouble to en enable certain features and now I'm like not even using them anymore because most of my prints are being done, um, from here, from the big screen or from my phone. I was at work today and I was like, let me check on my print. And I sent another, thankfully my bill plate was clear and I just set myself another print. Hopefully this will print. This is my calibre. I have so many fish. Things are really fishy around here because I use the fish to calibrate my, um, 
machine to make sure it's okay. If you can print the fish and all the details, I know I'm good to go. Uh, cause sometimes you'll download STL files from the internet and I mean, like, oh no, my printer, oh no, my bed, oh no, my extruder, oh no, the STL pile, but you don't realize that until later on, but let's have a look, see, look, you can see the fish printing nicely, all the detail. And the reason why I use the fish is because, um, you could use the benchy, the rabbit, the cat or whatever, but those take a while. Those take about 45 minutes and I don't, I don't have 45 minutes to wait and see if my calibration is correct. So I just found a little hack that actually works well. And as you can see, you can see it from the follow. Um, actually, I could probably pull the phone up. I could probably uh, do a screen mirroring if it lets me. Uh, so you guys can actually see what I see. Oh, the reflective four. See that? Oh, well, sort of. See? And there it is on the phone. Why by default it does that? Well, to get rid of that so we can go back into like an isolated experience of just a screen. Just do that. See? Kind of me. And then we have that we're in, in a civil kind of like that. And it tells you how much time is left. It's printing. We're at 51%. I did notice that after the firmware upgrade, um, it prints faster. Uh, I'm just used to it now. Uh, and, and it prints with more detail, the speed, agility, and perfection. But again, if you're looking for perfection, this is not going to be any of my videos. They're just to get you up and running and started the basic understanding so that you can just hit the ground running and run like the wind child and just be off on your own and, 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 and do your own prints after you've actually, um, put together your 3d printer. As you see, we're at 78%. I don't know as I might do some of those videos, but those videos require a lot of time. Uh, a lot of, um, just when you think it was good, it could have been better. Just when you thought the print was better, it could have been great. And just when you thought your print was great, you're like, it could be awesome. And I'm like, it just, it just never ends. It's a never ending cycle. And for me, it just ends at the print as long as it doesn't turn into spaghetti. Um, but again, you know, to each their own. And as you can see, voila, it finished. But the true test, right? I wonder if this will let us, uh, see it on the screen. I can go to the camera. Oh yeah. Look at that. Kind of weird, huh? Okay. So we've got a video. So then what I'll have to do is, oh nice, it does do it for you. So look, so basically your print is here, here we go. And now it's like, oh girl, it just finished. This is great. I got to have it. See, it's not going to come off. It's like, oh, and remember the other ones just came off now because it's so warm. It's flexible too. You see that? No, I just ruined really it because it's still hot, which is kind of interesting because you can form it and then when it dries it's going to be um stuck in that formation so but again when it's hot you run the risk of doing that and you also run the risk of you know of other um mishaps but i mean this is something this is just minor uh because most likely um you, you wouldn't do that to your project but your the experience you will have is just not being able to take it off the board as fluid as you would want it to be uh let that cook there in the book was have some stir fry, but later, but look at, anyway, look at the detail on that. So you got the holes, how it just hangs the holes, the bones and everything. So, you know, kind of neat. So on that note, aside from the challenges of destroying the print, you know, you also run into the challenge of just the difficulty in being able to take it up opposed to waiting. But again, um, there are two sides to every story. Some like to wait and others like to have it now and somehow can take it off without a problem. But then involves a lot of cleaning, a lot of remnants is left on the board. But you decide, um, should you wait? Or do you got to have it now? Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.